Good morning, Buckingham Palace. Hello, good morning. Um, may I please speak to Sophie Densham, A2, the Queen Consort, please? Who's calling, please? Yes, my name is Robert Skinner. It's regarding a letter I wrote to her. Thank you. So sorry she's not available to speak to you at the moment, sir. When did you write the letter? Um, I wrote the letter on the 21st of September. Um... Okay. It takes about 10 to 12 weeks for the offices to reply back to you. Um... Right, She's okay. not actually available to speak to anyone at the moment. Is sir. there anyone in her department I could speak to? They aren't available. They're not speaking at the moment, sir. They're not available. Right. They're holding meetings. Um, I've written to every member of the royal family and have never received a, pl a reply from any of them over the last two years. It's, right. it's almost as if the members of the royal family don't care. <laughs> it's okay. concerning an attack on the late Queen Elizabeth II... Um, Jehovah's Witnesses have charity status and yet in their literature and to me on speaking to me on YouTube videos they've told me that they believe the Queen rules by the power of the devil which I'm incensed about I think that's absolutely wrong and I think that Jehovah's Witnesses should not have charity status from the British government if they're going to... Have you... Right, sorry, have you written all that in a letter, sir? I've, I've written 50 letters roughly to every member of the royal family, I've written to the Prime Minister, Leader of the Opposition, Home Secretary, Justice Secretary, and the Opposition, and no one really cares. It's almost as if people in this country really don't care about the claim that a religious group, or it's not, they're not really religious, they're just a money-making operation, but they, have, they claim to be religious so they can have charity status, and Jehovah's Witnesses insult um, the British government and the British crown in print and also on over 40 YouTube videos, which I've put on YouTube, Jehovah's Witness elders from across the UK speaking over the last two years have told me that they believe the Queen Elizabeth, who was then alive, um, rules the UK by the authority of Satan the devil. And I, I'm incensed at that. They shouldn't have charity status, ma'am. Right. Um... And you've written all this in a letter. You yes. see, what's happened is most of the letters that were written before Her Majesty's passing, it's a bit difficult to come back to them because of everything, all the big change and such a big shock. If you don't mind writing a letter, just one letter, to the King's private secretary, sir. I've written to Sir, Sir Clive uh, uh, Alderton. I've written to Sir Clive Alderton. He when hasn't replied write, either. Write to 20, 21st of September. Let me just... Go to the letter. So if it's September, October, November, December, you should get a reply back, sir. It takes about 10 to 12 weeks. We give it about two and a half, three months. I mean, is because, there yeah. is there any any member of the royal staff I can speak to? There isn't. I'm really sorry. So I would have connected you. It's my job. But there isn't anyone that can help you with this. You see, it, you? It, 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 it comes across as if the royal family and their staff don't care about this insult against the late Queen Elizabeth II. That's the way it comes oh, across. I am, of course, recording I this conversation. This, this conversation Sorry? will go on. I am recording this conversation. Right. I phoned okay. up Buckingham Palace so a few times. This will go on YouTube. Okay. So it takes about 10 to 12 weeks for the offices to reply back. Mm. You just have to be a bit more patient than normal. Right. Well, I'm waiting on 50 replies from roughly 30 members of the royal family and their staff. Actually, say, probably if about you 35. If received the letter from the king's offices, then ring us back at the end of November, please. Well, no, mm. uh, mid-December, mid please, because it mm. takes about yes. three months yes. for them to come back. But I have, okay. I have letters going back to 2020, the, the, the early part of 2020, so more than two years ago, and I haven't had replies from those. Right. Well, I can put you through to an information officer, see yes. if she can help you more. Yeah, that, okay? that'd be great. Thank you so You're much. Thank you. Please. You're welcome. Thank you. Hello? Hello, yes. Am I through to the information office? You are, yes. How can I help you? Yes, thank you. Um, I've written to um, members of the royal family, and I've also written to members of their staff, and I haven't had a reply. I've been writing 
for more than two years, the first letters I wrote were in 2020 to every adult member of the royal family. And um, recently I wrote on the 21st of September this year to Sir Clive Alderton, the King's private secretary, the master of the household, Peter St. Clair Eskine, the aide to Queen Consort, um, Sophie Densham, and the aide to His Royal Highness Prince, Prince William. Uh, it's, it's quite important to me because I pointed out that the Jehovah's Witness religion, which has charity status from the British government, claimed that the late Queen Elizabeth, a good lady, they claim that she rules the UK by the authority of the devil. They claim every government on earth is of the devil. That's exactly what their book, um, What Can the Bible Teach Us, on page 33, the end of paragraph 11 states, it says, quote, all governments belong to Satan, including the British government and the British crown. And I, I'm of the opinion that they shouldn't have charity status from the British government when they're going to say such rude things. I've got 40 videos up on YouTube of my telephone conversations with Jehovah's Witnesses where elders across the UK have told me Queen Elizabeth, when she was alive, um, rules the UK by the authority or by the power of the devil. And I don't think they should have charity status. Right. Have, have you spoken to... Have you been in touch with the Charity Commission? Because they're the ones that um, are responsible and... Um uh, for for, for um, charity status and and charities registered in the in England, um, and they certainly you know should be able to be well advise you on on you know the situation and and the reason for um, giving them charity status. I'm, I'm afraid I don't think anybody um, any member of the royal family would be able to help you um, with this. It would be it would be, in the first instance it would be something Why? for the charity commission. Why? Well, have, first, you, have you spoken to them about that? Yes, of course. I've written to them several times. The England England and Wales Charity Commission, the Scottish Charity Commission, and the Charity Commission of Northern Ireland, which I think has a different name. Right. I can't remember their exact title. Right. I've written I to see. all of them. Yeah. I've written to the English one three times. They reported me to the police. The case right. was okay. thrown I, out of the. I see. The case was thrown out of Plymouth Crown Court on the 13th of August 2021. But um, they they actually were supportive of the Jehovah's Witnesses, and um, um, I mean I mean the Charity Commission, it's led by people. I mean you you might remember your your history at school. Neville Neville Chamberlain, a, a long tall spindly man, an absolute coward, went to Munich in 1939, and got a piece of paper. It was known as the scrap of paper. He got a promise from Hitler that he wouldn't invade any countries. It was called the it was called the scrap of paper. Well, if Neville Chamberlain came back from the dead today, and you compared him to the Charity Commission leaders or today's politicians, he'd honestly look like John Rambo, the American all action hero played by Sylvester Stallone. The the cowardice in this country is unbelievable. There is evidence on YouTube. And in, and in Jehovah's Witness literature that they teach that the British crown is of the devil. Now, why is it that no member of the royal family would defend the late queen? I've, I've written, I think, three times to King, King Charles when he was at the time Prince Charles. He didn't bother replying. I've, I've written recently on the 21st of September to Sir Clive Alderton the King's private secretary, the master of the household, Peter St. Clair Eskine, the aide to Queen Consort Camilla, Sophie Densham, and the aide to His Royal Highness Prince William, Jean Christ, Christopher Grey. None of them have got back to me. It's, it's, you see, it's almost as if these people don't care. You see, that, that's, that's how it comes across. I don't want to see anyone arrested. All I want is for Jehovah's Witnesses, if they believe that the late Queen, Queen Elizabeth, rules by the power of the devil, all I want is one thing done. Jehovah's Witnesses to be stripped of their charity status. And the Charity Commission, as I say, when I wrote to them, they reported me to the police. And no, not one member of the royal family, and I've written to every adult member of the royal family except... Um, Prince Edward's recent daughter has reached 18. I haven't written written to her. She's. I think she became 18 this year. 
so um, maybe she's one I, I could write to. But I've written to all the others, and I, I haven't had a reply. And it comes across as if the royal family, the staff of the royal family, the politicians, I've written to the Prime Minister, Justice Secretary, Home Secretary, and then the shadow leader of the opposition, Starmer, who used to be uh, a lawyer, a, um, Justice Shadow Justice Secretary, yeah. Shadow Home Secretary. I've written to my local MP, Luke Pollard, twice, and no one cares. So that's, the, that's the thing about this, this, this country. I mean, if you said 500 years ago that King Henry VIII, 500 years ago, rules by the power of the devil, you'd be hung, drawn and quartered. Um, if you said 150 years ago that Queen Victoria rules by the power of the devil, it doesn't matter who you are. You could be a duke or an earl or a, uh, a barrister. It doesn't matter. They, they'd, they'd find a way of, of hurting you. You know, they'd put you in prison on, on remand for six months. They'd, they'd fiddle the legal system. So you, you pay a punishment for insulting Queen Victoria. But today in 2022, if you say the Queen rules by the power of the devil, you get charity status from the British government and the protection of the British government and the protection of the British state. It is a it's case of absolute cowardice. And it, 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 the, the head is rotting. It, 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 it's, uh, it's rotting from the head down. That's what's so concerning. Uh, yeah, well, um, I, I've, um, I've, I've listened to everything you say. I, 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 I can't say why you haven't received a reply to, to the letters that you've written to members of the royal family. Um, and all I can think is that possibly it's because, unfortunately, a member of the royal family wouldn't be in a position to, to, to help you um, with, with your concern. No, I don't um, want them to help me. I don't want them to help me. I want, I want the royal family. They wouldn't be able to do anything about... Yes, about they can. The yes, they can. I want the royal family to show respect to Queen Elizabeth II. She does not rule by the power of the devil. Queen Elizabeth II was a good, hard-working lady. Queen Elizabeth II did not rule the United Kingdom by the power of the devil. And I want the royal family, including the new king, King Charles, to man up. And I think the politicians should man up. And I think members of the royal household, like Sir Clive Alderton, the king, the new king's private secretary, and um, the aide to Queen Consort um, Sophie Densham, they should man up or woman up, whatever the term is for Sophie Densham. They should be incensed, and they should say that charity status should not be given to an organisation with just a, an, a, an American multi-billion-dollar money-making business that uses religion as a front. They should not have charity status. I, I certainly, can I can I take your name, please? I'll, yes. I'll, I'll pass on the message that you called and um, with regard to not receiving a reply. Yes, um, yes, sure. But, sure. And, and that, that's all I'm afraid I can do. Yes. Um, today. Um, yes. My name is Robert Skinner, S K Y double N E R. My telephone number is. Um, I have numerous phone calls that I've placed onto YouTube. This one will be placed on YouTube. I have other calls to Buckingham Palace, which are on YouTube. And it just demonstrates the fact that nobody working for the royal family or the royal family themselves seem to care. That's what bothers me. Oh, I see. Um... Yes. Okay. Well, well. Well. Thank you very much. I. I, I will pass the, the message on that you. You called, and um, as I say, I'm afraid I can't help you any further today. Yes. T pass it on to Sir Clive Alterton. Tell old Clive to give me a ring. I'd like to speak to him because he's not doing his job very well, is he? Thank you very much. Thank, thank you. you. Bye bye. Bye bye.